Hi, my name is Nadim and I'm a content marketer at Market8. Today I will be explaining to you the SaaS Ghost Optimization Framework. The first step is the audience research. Here we place the customer at the center of your SaaS growth by using the job to be done methodology to figure out four things. One, we have to push. These are the pains and problems your customer is experiencing. Two, we have to pull. These are the solutions you offer, which will attract the customer and will be the main reason they buy your product. Three, we have the anxiety. These are the things they hesitate about. And last, we have the impact or the value they get from your product. Step two is the product positioning, which comes before the brand positioning. Here we are laying the foundation of how you want the customers to understand the product that you're offering. This product is positioned to certain customers that truly care a lot about the solution that you have to offer. Step three is branding. Branding goes beyond design and is actually empowering the customer by creating a bond between them and your brand. In that case, we're giving a story and a character to the solution that you're offering. There is a lot of noise out there, so you need to be very clear about how you present the product that you're offering. Growth strategy is step four. It's a list of tools and mechanisms we have to put in place in order to reach your audience. These can be things like SEO, ads, or content marketing, or much more. We are answering the question, which channels are most effective to reach the realistic goals we have? The next step is the search experience. We've all gone through that process every time we have a problem and we look for the solution online by checking out reviews, articles, or following influencers or other things as well. The search experience starts the moment your customer realizes that they have a problem, but they don't necessarily know that you have the solution for them. To learn more about the search experience, follow the link below. Step six is the acquisition. Acquisition is about setting up your website and online experience to make sure you get as much conversion and engagement as possible. In that step, the point is to build enthusiasm in the customer. Step seven is activation. At this point, the customer needs to take a direct action like requesting a demo or signing up for a trial. This is your chance to prove to them that your solution is worth their time. Step eight is about renewal and referrals. This step is too often overlooked by brands. Yet it's the easiest way to retain your customers and gain new ones. You're making sure that the communication is still open with your customers, that they are happy, and if they are, to help them refer other customers to your brand. The final step are the analytics. This shows us the truth about your users, and we feed it back into the audience research to close the loop. We make sure that, together, we focus on optimizing the part of the funnel that will help us move the needle. Ultimately, the point is to make sure your customers are getting value out of your product. To make this happen, you have to find the right audience, build the right message, and then send that message to those customers using the right channels. You have to provide value through a seamless onboarding experience and then maintain communication with them to make sure they are happy and successful. And then use that data to optimize your process.